This is the full AIM MX-10 lavalier microphone system that'll work on your DSLR, it'll work on your iPhone, it'll work on your Android phone, uh, you know, just about anything. So, the cool thing about it is it comes in this snazzy case, which, you know, if you didn't want to use it for that, you can use it for something else, but there's so many items in here, it almost would need to kind of go back in the case to help keep you organized. And the frequency range on this thing is 470 to 510 megahertz and your frequency response is 30 hertz to 18 kilohertz the microphone that comes with this is an omnidirectional condenser microphone and just so you know on the battery life you do get uh, five to six hours for the receiver and you know eight or nine hours or so for your transmitter um, so your operating range is 50 meters at an outdoor open area so it's you know quite a bit of distance because we're working with that UHF and not the ever popular right now um, 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth because what that does the 2.4 gigahertz it limits you your kind of line of sight for a couple hundred feet but your body can also absorb um, that frequency and reduce your range so if you got your pack behind your back you're not gonna get that line of sight 200 feet you'll get a little bit less with those things but with UHF you can go behind obstacles. You can put this thing behind you. I mean, you can do everything with it, but it's not um, worldwide. Like there's some areas that may not allow um, this sort of thing. And that's why the 2.4 gigahertz stuff is you know, popular because the manufacturer can just make one of those and distribute that worldwide. Whereas the UHF is kind of like up to your own discretion to know where and where you can't have it kind of thing. So just so you know, this is UHF. And as we look at the mobile receiver, it says that on there. Uh, the cool thing is it's rechargeable. It has a built-in lithium ion battery in here. That is cool. And so does the transmitter. So that's a big plus right there. You can keep this thin. You can keep this contained in this metal housing with no slide to open, no putting in batteries. So you actually get uh, you can recharge both of these at the same time with an external battery charger on the go if you need to. It takes about three hours or so to charge these. So this is awesome that the system is lithium powered and everything is just rechargeable. So that's nice. But your phone, if you can imagine that this little phone brick is your phone, uh, goes here and this opens super wide. So everything will fit into this and you can tighten that with this screw here loose get her down in there and tighten this up and it holds pretty firm this piece feels metal maybe plastic i think it might be a plastic it's hard to tell the difference between this kind of stuff but i think it's that's definitely plastic so it's plastic with rubber backing here little little foam dense pads here the transmitter itself i'm going to tear this plastic off ah, sounds good and uh, yeah, so we got the mic in here, which we'll take a look at later. Line in, channel, power, and then of course your antenna, which is kind of fixed onto here. I don't think that's going to screw off or come off or anything like that, but it is flexible, so you won't be able to damage that too much if you put this in your back. Um, this is a good system. Like I said, this is probably one of the better uh, systems that I've come across, which is really nice because it's all rechargeable. Uh, micro U via micro USB. So there we go. We'll power it on. You can see uh, how you can change the channels with the presets that's in there. The four presets. You can add more. And here you get your charging cable, which is pretty cool because you have USB that splits off to two micro USBs, so you can charge both these things at the same time off of one USB port. Sweet. Here you have your lavalier mic clip here that will go up on your lapel. And here you have a cold shoe mount. You can see that in there. These are always handy to have even if you're not going to use it. Trust me, I look for these lost things all the time and I have a stash of them. So they're great to keep around. The cold shoe mounts with the quarter thread on top. They've kind of gotten the habit of coloring the end gray on all the things that attach to your cell phone. So basically this will go from your uh, receiver here to your cell phone. That's what will transmit the audio through the uh, receiver to your phone. And you know this by 
tip, ring, ring, sleeve. So TRRS cable, and this is a tip, ring, sleeve, TRS. So you need a TRRS to go into your phone. Now this is for your DSLR or whatever you want to plug this into. If you have an external recorder or whatever, this is TRS to TRS cable. So you do get the adapter for your phone and then you get a straight up TRS to TRS. And here is the show runner, which is the microphone. Um, you don't necessarily need to use their microphone if you already have one with an existing system or you just want to buy one separate, you can do that. This one actually plugs right in via TRS and then screws itself into the transmitter. So just so you know that that's a screw one, but you don't have to use that. You can just plug a 3.5 TRS cable right into it without the screw. So if you have a lavalier mic that doesn't screw like this, you can still get by with using that, just so you know that. And here is the microphone itself, which looks pretty beefy. Um, I have a bunch of different mics from Sennheiser to Rode to Giant Squid, and this is pretty beefy mic here. And the cord is a little thicker than uh, some of the most I've used before. So you may want to end up using your own. I don't know, but we're going to be testing this system completely on this. And as a matter of fact, I'm filming on my cell phone currently uh, using a Rode mic that's made for cell phones. So just so you know that, you get the two foam little windscreens here. But you know, not only do you get the two foam pieces, but like I said earlier in the bag, you get two clips. That is super important because you'll end up breaking uh, where the mic clamps into the clip at right here and that will end up breaking over time So they give you another one. So that is really nice on their part something they def definitely didn't have to do and I appreciate that your lavalier in to the transmitter a Little firm a little push you'll hear the clicks a little quarter turn will get this kind of tight It feels like so not don't wrench that down all the way and there is your transmitter and mic right there It looks nice the pack feels sturdy, like you could sit on this. Uh, this feels pretty good up here. This does too, this feels really good. So I don't think you have any worries uh, with this. This is a nice belt clip. I have the same belt clip here. You can uh, probably pull these out and remove the belt clip if you needed to just slide this in and out of your pocket for some reason without this clip. So this should just pull out from the sides. I have the same type of belt clip on uh, Audio-Technica. Uh, lavalier system that I have which is a pretty cool system. It's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Here is the tripod itself. This is actually a good firm ball head on this. This will not move. This is me wrenching down on that pretty good. It won't move. Loosen that up and now moves freely. So this is kind of overkill for what you'll need it for. So you can use this for your DSLR also. You should be able to. And here's a way to get a 90 degree down shot through this little groove here. So you can get a shot down like that if you needed it. But you can screw this to the bottom of your cell phone mount slash receiver. And you have your cell phone there so you can use this as a filming tool if you needed it to. Uh, rubber little grips on the bottom it feels like so yeah this is actually a lot sturdier than I originally anticipated and this is a really snazzy feature so you see how far this opens up but if you need it to lower farther you can actually turn this groove here and the legs open up even farther to get you lower down to the table so that's cool for any kind of micro macro photography or video you might want to do or can do with your mobile device or you just want to sit the thing lower you have the option to do that or you can use this for another camera so that is pretty doggone neat i like that that's your one option here and then there's your other option it kicks the leg up farther get you lower down to the table or whatever so that's really cool i like that and here is another hand mount which is it seems to be metal or aluminum or something like that, but it has a pass through. So you actually have a quarter thread on the bottom so you can mount this to a tripod itself, or you can extend this for even more range, which is probably something that I would do. 
and give you a big old filming stick like that. And you get a lot more height on uh, your little tripod stand as well from this. So, and this ball head can handle that. Um, so really it feels plastic, um, but, oh, and also before I forget, if you needed to mount this to a tripod, you can do that as well. And you have a ball head and then you have a straight up, just your traditional without a ball head, uh, kind of little tripod there as well. So if you don't need a ball head, you can remove this. If you want to use ball head on an existing, uh, small tripod on the go kit, whatever, you've got all these options here. And also this little guy was hiding on me. There is a big old fluffy dead cat in here for your lavalier. And this thing feels super silky smooth and nice. This is a nice little dead cat. No complaints. I'm very excited that they put that in there. This is really high quality. So cool. I'm thoroughly impressed with everything that you get for the price. I have no complaints thus far. If the sound is good and your range is decent, uh, yeah, I like this. So now here we are with the system hooked up. Hopefully this sounds okay and not too echoey. I'm kind of, it's been off and on raining, so I have my phone under the overhang of the front porch here. But I'm going to walk out of that mailbox. It's about 200 feet. Yeah, so you're going to hear some road noise. Apologize about that. But the cool thing about this I forgot to mention is the receiver up top there. You get a glow letting you know that uh, you're connected and it's a glow through the symbol of the Wi-Fi symbol. So you can see you're connected and you also get on here, you also, and you can see this during daylight, like I can see this now, you also get a signal notification, you get bars there that looks like uh, your data uh, bars on your phone or something like that at the top. And you get a battery meter across the top, which is fantastic. And of course you get what channel you're on this is a full all-out digital UHF uh, connection system kind of thing. I'm probably blown out on my lights. I have on my on the lighting because I don't have an ND filter for my phone. Sorry, and I have everything turned down. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk down that way, and you should be able to be solid connected, no issues, line of sight for me to go to the where that trash can is because I gotta grab that trash can anyway. Check the mail. I'm going to walk all the way completely around the back of the house, come through the back of the house and up to the front. Should stay, should stay connected, which is pretty impressive because you're talking about a brick wall here, brick wall in the back, and then all the walls through the middle, which is about uh, two or so um, directly from the back door. But then you've got multiple walls from the side of the house, which I'll be walking through as well. Plus you're in a covered uh, overhang here for the front porch. So it's going to be impressive that it's able to keep a solid connection. And that, my friends, is your main difference between a 2.4 system versus a UHF system. So let's walk out on this noisy street. Apologize for that. I have dialed in this to where it's not peaking, but close to peaking, which this doesn't run very hot at all. So I had to crank up my phone uh, higher than I need to to get it to get close to the peaking bars. Normally I have to crank my phone all the way down and most of my devices are kind of hot going into it. So this one's not. So that, which doesn't matter, it's fine. But uh, I'm gonna go check uh, the mailbox <clears throat> and talk the entire time so that people that sees me, it's windy too. So I probably should have put that dead cat on, but I didn't. I'm gonna twirl around the side and because it's been raining and I'm not gonna walk through the rain, the grass. This is gonna be uh, not very interesting to hear me talk and walk. People's gonna be like, oh, those are earbuds. Nah, it's a lavalier mic, man. What are you talking about? But uh, walking down here to the mailbox. But yeah, this system's probably the, the most impressive um, build quality, fit and finish, and all that good stuff that I've seen. Hey, we got mail um, that I've been able to review. And for the price, it's actually uh, right on the money for where I think it needs to be. So I like being able to try and find stuff that I feel like is affordable. Because if you look at the road uh, mic system, yeah, those are little smaller ones now, but. I think that's 200 bucks and the Sennheiser is, I don't know, a three something or whatever crazy price it is. And you're only getting line of sight. Um, 
out of it and then here we are you know I'm walking around the side of the house right now and I should be okay shouldn't have too much of an issue with this UHF because I'm like a hundred and something feet away right now and now I go through the back of the house the grass is soaking wet from the rain so I'm gonna stick the edge of the grass up against the house walking <clears throat> still talking and uh, yeah coming up on the back porch out of the grass coming up to the back door so we just completely circled the home now I'm probably 40 feet away uh, popped in the back. I'm gonna put the mail down on my journey. Back. Walking. And boom. That was a loud slam. And this has been the full AIM MX10 uh, lavalier UHS system. You can use it for your phone like I'm doing right now or even your camera or record right into an external recorder or whatever you want to do that's 3.5 or you have an adapter that goes from TRS to whatever so you can have options and you kind of get a full kit to be able to give you those options and this is really cool time that we're living in because man this is a good build quality you can get out there you can make some videos and sound good I like these over boom mics myself because no matter where I turn no matter what I do I'm still the same uh, volume from the lavalier versus a boom that I'm not facing and my volume goes in and out I don't like that too much, but uh, for most talking heads a boom might work whatever But I like the lavaliers and I think you'll like this So if you're looking for something that's affordable, there's no doubt that you'll like this So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified on the next uh, Product review that I have for you. It's pretty cool like this it's Well priced and the link will be down in the YouTube description. See ya